Facebook lands. And if you're watching this recording, my name is Deb. I'm the founder of Find Calm here. And we are a community that takes you from chaos to calm through conversations around a lot of different topics where you can use different ways of finding calm with principles and practices uh, to get you there right away. And today we're talking with Carolyn and she's gonna talk to us about memoir writing, which I'm really excited about because I've been a writer for quite a while and haven't written my own book yet, Carolyn. So maybe you'll help me start that. <laughs> Happy to Deb. So <laughs> you just insert. So, okay, uh, memoir writing. I um, want to just kind of talk about who this is really for. You don't need to want to write a book to be a part of this workshop. It's great if you want to. That's terrific. I would love to write my own book someday. But even if you just want to write your memoirs for um, just for your own like kind of journaling practice or as a gift for someone like a memoir to a parent or a child um, mm -hmm. or you know something that you want to leave in your legacy documents for future generations um, you might want to put your memoirs up on a website like um, that's what I do I have a website called Carolyn I am and I've got um, not everything that I've written up there but um, probably about 10 or 11 shareable publishable stories about my life um, so you don't have to be necessarily a good writer as long as you know how to make words and sentences and paragraphs. That's um, the basic starting point. You can you know, get better as you, people do get better as they write. So don't worry about not being like what you might consider a good writer, unless you want to sell it, then that's pretty important that you're a good writer. Um, so, Really, it's just, it's an exercise for anybody. And um, see, what else do I want to say about that? It's, it's about owning your story. Um, we all have so many stories from our lives that are, they, you might not have lived what you consider to be an exciting life. You don't have to be a globetrotter to have interesting stories to tell. Everybody has very interesting stories from their life to tell. And you, what I'm going to do is help you bring those out and help connect them to life lessons because that's what memoir writing is. It's different than autobiography, um, whereas memoir writing is about like what you learned from these things in your life. So I'm going to help you bring that out. Love that. And it can doing memoir writing can bring a lot of calm to your life in the sense that if any it, it, anybody who's journaled before knows that journaling just helps you sort your thoughts out writing of any type just helps you sort your thoughts out um so memoir writing is basically the same thing you're sorting your thoughts out about your life so for instance i write a lot about regret i mean we've all got regrets the decision that we didn't make versus the decision that we did so reconciling that with you know what you're life is like now and let's see the fears that you may have had going through life um so we'll touch on that a little bit and um yeah just making sense of your life putting the why w with how do i want to phrase that so taking the what which is the story yeah. and figuring out the why of it that makes sense. Yeah, actually, it's really funny because I'm glad we're talking now that I understand a lot more about what you mean, because what I was going to ask you was is to define really what memoir writing was. And when you're talking about that, um, I've been memoir writing for a long time. <laughs> That's what that means, yeah. because I've been actually <laughs> doing a blog before I started traveling. And I know you're a world traveler, so you've got lots of adventures. Um, that you're sharing about but before I was traveling I was actually writing about local parks and the lessons that I learned on a hike on like a three-hour hike yeah. and so I like was like when you're talking about it just now I'm like oh I already have been doing this <laughs> for a really long time you have. I've read 
I've read your blog and absolutely you've been writing your memoir. I know. So, so maybe I'll have to put that into a book and then it'll be a book. But anyway, I, I love it's a this. a collection of stories. So, yeah. you know, you, you don't have to write in a linear fashion. You can start with a story that happened last week and, you know, start with insights that you had on that three hour walk in the park. Um, and then just you know, bounce all over the place. The story itself can be from yeah. different periods and different events in your life. So it's, I, I like it. It's a really fun. Um, I agree. The journal, you know, I'm a big journaling proponent. I love, I love journaling and expressing, um, you know, through different formats, photography, obviously, and writing are my two things that I like to do. And I think that there's a lot of ways actually, um, in writing styles or different platforms like you're talking about to get the word out um, to share mm -hmm. your story. It's uh, so, so easy now. Too sounds great. The internet. So great. Easy. Um, awesome. Well, I will keep the rest of my questions for Wednesday. So guys, we're previewing Perfect. our little Find Calm Here event. So we're going to chat with you on Wednesday about this. Carolyn and I are going to Hang out with you on Wednesday if you're available at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, you can grab the Zoom link on the Facebook Find Calm Here page, or if you go to findcalmhere.com, it is on the front of our homepage. You have a link to the Zoom call, to Carolyn's call. There's also a link to her website if you wanted to check out some of her writing before the event or afterwards. Uh, and I think we'll leave it there because I've got a lot more that I want to dig into, but we'll wait till Wednesday. So thanks so All much, right. Carolyn, for being available and chatting with you for Everybody a few minutes. Come, come ready to work Wednesday. <laughs> I love it. Very cool. All right. Thanks, Carolyn. Bye. Bye, guys.